Hey guys, TJ Krobe here, your product manager at DinoJet Research. Today, we're gonna set up AutoTune Pro for PowerVision 3. To get started with AutoTune Pro, you'll of course have your PowerVision 3 installed on your motorcycle with the diagnostic cable running to the port on your bike. You'll also have your AutoTune module already installed with your wideband bungs inserted into the front and rear head pipes to gather samples from each exhaust pipe. You can then turn on your bike and wait for the PowerVision to boot up. From here, you can jump into the tuning menu, enter AutoTune, and enable AutoTune. Here's where the cool part is. AutoTune Basic is free for all users. You don't need the accessory AutoTune kit that has wideband sensors. Today we'll focus on AutoTune Pro, where we do have our wideband sensors installed in our exhaust pipes. Enable AutoTune Pro. Here you can either use the last flash file, which is where your bike would be starting from, or you can go back to choose a different one, and these would be any of the original files that are on your, on your bike. So in this case, I'm gonna use this last flash file. Select that base file. It'll enable auto-tune, make some corrections on the tables, put this bike in an auto-tune state, and then start the flash for you. So after this, uh, the bike will go through a confirmation that it comes back alive. You'll hear the fuel pump cycle or some relay cycle. And then we get to just begin riding around, driving around on your dyno, driving around in your neighborhood, where you'll be looking for kind of a mix of those low cruise, idle, wide open throttle, uh, different parameters, different uh, riding conditions that you can hit so that you have a good blend and good set of samples that you can use to then correct the VE tables and then perform that final flash. You'll notice up here in the corner, after I've enabled AutoTune, there's an AT in the top corner. So you'll notice as soon as we start it, the red bar starts on the top, indicating that we're logging. So the device has started to log. You'll see different states of the device, meaning the wideband sensors are hot or they're not hot. You might be at too low of a manifold pressure. You might be at too high of an engine temp. So this little status symbol here gives you the condition. Right now, I don't even have an auto-tune module hooked up. That's why it's giving me a wideband sensor one is not found. That's a, an error code that it can't see the wideband sensor right now. After I've driven around for a while, you can hit that circle button and that will save that iteration of a log or that amount that I've ridden on the road. I can just, if I'm gonna grab another gear and go a little faster, start the data log session again and now it'll log a second set of samples. I might be at higher speed, maybe I'm on the road and I'm logging this set of data. Once I get done riding a couple miles, hit the circle button again. Now I have two logs that AutoTune can function off of. I know that's kind of junky to not have a module on. Do you want me to have one on so it actually looks legit? To install our AutoTune module, for sake of demonstration, we're going to use this module here connected through our diagnostic port. We'll power it up using the included CAN cable. Next, we'll connect the two wideband sensors, one to the rear cylinder, and the other to the front cylinder's wideband sensor. Give me a hug. From there, we can turn the power on, the device will boot up, and it will start heating up our sensors that are inside each of our exhaust pipes.
engine temp is still low right now, so it's giving me a low engine temp. So until both sensors are warm, manifold pressure conditions are met, I think it's around 200 degrees or 180 degrees that I'm out of warm up, then it'll actually start logging. So after you do that a couple times, <laughs> yeah, we're done. That's basically done. You ride it a little bit, you come back in. So now that we've completed uh, a couple miles on the road uh, out there and done plenty of samples throughout different operating ranges, different temperature conditions, speeds, gears, and we've covered up what we think is a good sampling of our entire map. If we're satisfied that we've covered it all, we can jump into tuning and then auto-tune and hit apply values. This will take all of the learned logs that I just did, all those logs out on the road, apply the VE changes to each of the respective tables and insert them onto the file. So this is flashing a new auto-tune rev1 file into the ECU. It'll still be enabled, but it's like ready for round two if I wanted to either keep riding or if I don't think I've covered enough, or if I do think I've covered enough, I can go in and hit disable auto-tune. This will get rid of those custom table values that we've set up that puts the bike in an auto-tune state and set it back to the stock form of those while keeping the VE table calculations that we needed. Tuning, auto-tune, so now we can disable. So again, this is keeping those VE changes that we needed to get the bike running smooth for your modifications, but it's just putting back those other ancillary tables to their stock values. We put on a whole mile. We put on a whole mile, Paul. So once the device finishes, it'll say flash complete. It wants you to uh, power cycle, um, or you can press the center button to continue. You'll notice the top left corner, it just goes back to the two arrows, indicating that the PowerVision 3 is communicating with the ECU at this point. Now, you can actually remove your auto-tune module from your bike if you're completely happy with your tune and go use it on your buddy's Harley or get it ready for the next vehicle. We can remove the sensors right out of the exhaust. We can remove the entire module from the system and use it on the next bike. Special thanks to Paul Robel for putting together an awesome script and getting these nice lights out here to make this process easy. And uh, to all the people at DinoJet for making this a fun place to work and make cool products like this. Cool. All right. If you want to learn more or have any further questions, we've put together an article on our site that should answer most questions. We're continuously posting new information and educational content on our socials with more to come soon. So until then, Love it.